Hi everyone, I'm Krista and welcome to my video on the healing benefits of amber. Now amber is not a crystal or a gemstone, but rather it is tree resin that has been fossilized and it has beautiful healing properties. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how amber can help you and be of benefit. Now the best amber to get, which might not always be easy, is Baltic amber. And Baltic amber was formed 30 to 60 million years ago, so that's quite a long time. And uh, being formed so long ago, it has a lot of great healing power. But there's lots of other amber that is also really good that is not from the Baltic source, that is also very superb for healing. Now, a word of caution about amber, that uh, the natural amber, there are beautiful pieces of natural amber on the market, however it is a little bit more expensive. So you want to make sure that you are getting genuine amber. So best to buy from reputable sources, so good crystal shops or even beautiful shops online that have good sources of amber are important because there is a lot of fake amber on the market or there's also amber on the market which is called reconstituted amber. Reconstituted amber is where where they take little bits of real amber and heat it up, combine it with a resin to then make a constitute of uh, amber. Now, that's not my most ideal amber to work with because even though it does contain pieces of genuine amber, the healing energy of it is quite weak. So it's best to get genuine amber. So I'm going to show you a piece of genuine amber and then I'll show you a piece of reconstituted amber. Okay, so this is a piece of genuine amber that a friend of mine gave to me and I'm very grateful for this piece okay so I'll just turn it around so you can see it's got a really nice kind of honey color it's genuine it's a nice raw piece okay it's quite light but fragile then I'm going to show you a piece of reconstituted amber now it's unfortunate because it's in a pendant and it's unfortunate because I thought that I was buying real genuine amber and then I wasn't so it was being sold to me as real amber and I kind of got taken on it so but you know it's kind of good in a way that I have this piece because then I can show you what reconstituted amber looks like so it's a little unfortunate because I did pay quite a bit of money for this pendant and you know it's uh, not genuine so here it is now reconstituted amber color wise it's more kind of darker amber color towards orange so if this amber you're looking at looks more towards the orangey spectrum chances are it's reconstituted and also if you look inside the amber it's a little bit hard to see in this piece because the camera doesn't pick it up exactly perfectly but there are circles or discs inside that show up so if it has circles and discs and quite a few of them chances are it's reconstituted so i'm going to show you again the difference in color so can you see that this one here the natural amber is more yellow this one here is more orange okay you can see the difference quite a difference so just know that you know uh, you need to be very careful when buying amber so let's get into the healing properties of amber now now Amber, by the ancients and ancient cultures, really believed that the amber was solidified sunlight. And because it comes from trees, it's like the resin and the sap of trees, it contains great life force energy and great power in that way. So using a piece of amber is really good because it contains light and sunlight, that it's really good to boost the mood. So if you have a grumpy mood, a dark mood, you're irritable, angry, sad, upset, or even if you have seasonal affective disorder and you get depressed in the winter time when the light is low, you can work with a piece of amber and it can really infuse you with that brightness and light energy that you need to have your emotions balanced and to feel optimistic, uplifted and joyful. Now because amber contains a lot of beautiful life force energy, because it is the life force energy from trees, that it also helps to boost your overall life force energy. So it's a really good stone for healing after any kind of illness. So whether you have a cold, a flu, 
pneumonia, some other type of illness, or even an injury. It will help to stimulate healing and infuse you with the life force energy that you need to draw upon, especially if you feel depleted physically, so that you have more energy for healing available to you. It's also a good stone for healing after surgeries. So if you go through a surgery, it's very tough and hard on the system and the body and the body has to work hard to heal so amber can actually help to infuse you with more life force energy to draw upon for healing and it's also a good stone for the elderly so sometimes in cases when we are aging and getting older we can feel a little bit tired maybe we get low on energy amber can help give us the energy that we need to give us a boost and also increase stamina so it's really good for that now, an interesting little tidbit of information historically about amber is that women in Scandinavia, they used to have the amber and fashion it into spindles for their spinning wheel that when they were weaving and creating thread and weaving and making clothing that the amber was a very protective talisman and it had protective healing energies so as they used the spindles made out of amber and would weave clothing they would weave protective healing energy into the clothing so when the person was wearing the clothing they would have protection around them so that could be protection when traveling or protection when hunting or protection in a battle so amber has a lot of beautiful protective healing energies about it too now when we think about trees trees take in carbon dioxide and they convert that into oxygen and then put oxygen back out into the environment and that's very similar to the healing energies of the amber itself so what amber does is it pulls in negative energy into the amber itself it converts that negative energy into a usable form of life force energy and then it radiates that life force energy back out so it's a very strong stone for protection in that way so it can really help to absorb any negativity that you're carrying and converts it into healing energy that you can also draw upon for healing so it's very beautiful in that way so I would like to just show you a little technique that you can use the amber for to really infuse you with life force energy brightness light so that your body has more energy for healing okay so you want to take the amber and it's always nice to set a healing intention for whatever gemstone or crystal that you're working with and in this case amber so we want to start with saying an intention and you can speak this to the stone so you can just hold the stone to your lips and you can say an intention you can follow mine or also say something similar to the one that I am about to show you okay so here's a good intention thank you so much amber for healing me and infusing me with your beautiful golden brilliant light to infuse me with healing energies vitality to uplift me and balance my mood thank you so much in full faith so be it okay so you've said your words to the stone and then now what you want to do is just hold the stone and you can hold the stone to your heart it's nice to kind of hold it to your heart energy or you could also hold the stone to your head either one is fine so pick a position that is comfortable for you okay so either holding it to your heart or holding it to your head I'm gonna hold mine just close to my heart here and you can close your eyes and you just tune into the stone and take a nice deep breath in and exhale fully and just keep your eyes closed and just tune into the energy of the stone and then just imagine now that the amber is filled with beautiful brilliant golden healing light and just imagine now that that healing light that beautiful golden color is filling your aura completely with that beautiful golden healing light sense this feel it know it to be happening and just visualize now that your aura is completely holding this beautiful bubble of golden light in your aura and around you and as you breathe imagine now that that beautiful golden light is flowing from the stone into your aura and then into your body so that your body is completely filled with that golden light filling your head filling your neck feeling your shoulders that golden light is moving down your arms into your fingertips that golden light is moving down from your shoulders filling your chest moving down into your belly that golden light flows into your hips and pelvis it flows down your legs and it fills your feet and then just affirm now, I am filled with beautiful golden healing light 
from this beautiful amber stone. In full faith, so be it. And just sense and feel all of that beautiful golden healing light strengthening you, giving you energy, uplifting your mood, dispelling all negativity and darkness, and filling you with light, vitality, and peace. Take one more nice deep breath in, and exhale, and then just opening your eyes. And then it's a good idea to carry the amber in your pocket with you throughout the day, so it can continually fill you with that beautiful golden healing light. So you can put it in your pocket. It is fragile, so you might want to put it into a pouch first or wrap it in a cloth and then put it in your pocket. Or if you do get a piece of amber jewelry, then you can also wear that as jewelry. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Crystal Lin, Crystal Healing Therapist, as well as teacher of Crystal Healing classes. If you would like more information on crystals and crystal healing, then please visit my web page at crystallin.ca, or you can also like my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching, blessings to you, and namaste.